happening now with dry weather earlier this summer. Some farmers say they're experiencing a hay shortage. TV6's Caden Minus stopped by one farm to see how it's doing and if there's anything that can remedy the situation. As the summer months are coming to a close, some farmers say their hay yields are lower than last year. The Upper Peninsula Research and Extension Center in Chatham is one of these farms. Farm manager Paul Nas says hay yield is down 27% compared to last year. He says it's worse for other farms. I've talked to a lot of the local farmers and uh, they're saying their hay yields are down anywhere from 40 to 50%. Nas says variables including soil quality and type of crop can lead to a shortage. However, he says the weather was a major contributing factor. Well, obviously it's the lack of rainfall that we had early in May. Um, our, our fields, I, I don't think, got hurt as bad as others. We have a lot of alfalfa. We got uh, relatively good soil here. We got well-drained soil. We can grow alfalfa. Alfalfa is a very deep-rooted crop and can get down to the moisture. Director James DeDecker says shortages like this mean farmers may not be able to feed their livestock. For ruminant livestock like cattle, sheep, um, forages, hay is the, the basis of their diet. So without uh, enough uh, production of the right quality, it's difficult to maintain those animals. DeDecker says while purchasing hay and reducing herd amounts is a good short-term solution, he says there are better ways to improve your overall hay output. Looking at the types of forage crops that you're growing, are they adapted to this environment? Are they suited to your soil types? Um, looking at how you're caring for that hay and pasture land in terms of soil health and fertility, uh, grazing, for example, um, versus hay production. De Decker also says the UP Research and Extension Center has cattle and forage research available for farmers. To find these resources, go to UpperMichiganSource.com or the TV6 and Fox UP mobile news app. Caden Minus, TV6 News, Chatham.